where are you? Where are you? Uh -huh. Old friend. I wish I had even a tenth of the patience and a tenth of the wisdom that you have. I don't want this to ever end. You and I make a great team, don't we, Griffin? Yeah, just a minute. Here, Rashid. Excuse me, Mr. Williams. Miss Grant is here to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for hiring me. I woke up this morning, and for the first time in such a long time, I couldn't wait to get to work. I can't remember the last time I was so charged up about something. And wait till you see what I've worked out. We are going to blow them away. Already doing research, huh? Hey, hit the ground running and don't look back, right? You and I are going to make such a great team. You and I make a great team. I'm afraid not, Julie. I can't hire you. Boy, the way my father went after her. You know, I think about it, it just makes me crazy. Well, then don't think about it. We don't want any stress for our baby. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Right, we'll sit down. I'm okay. Can I get you some water, some juice or something? No, no juice. Should you be sitting like this? Yes, I should. <laughs> I'm worried about Mom. I really am. Could we maybe not tell her about our baby until after, you know, we see how Meg's operation goes? No, of course not. We'll tell her at the appropriate time, when the time is right. Hey, Mom. guys. Hi. What is it? What? They just took her into surgery. This is already the little... longest day of my life, and we've only just started. Lily? I want you to try and rest, okay? Because Meg is in with the best there is. Oh, yes. Come on, little Meg Pie. Do this one thing for your daddy, and I promise you I'll give you the moon. You want to be Superman, huh? Look, everybody, Peter Superman. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fly over me. Fly over me. Wow. Yeah. Okay, now my turn. Going somewhere? Let me go. I don't think so. Let me go. Not until you tell me why you're spying on my family. Careful, you can hurt yourself. Let go of me, I don't Matt. Think so. are you, come on inside. Fine. Boy, what do you have here? Oh, look what I found. I came to see Marcus. Really? Why were you leaving? Because I didn't okay. want to interrupt the Brady Bunch. Time at out. Play. Time yeah. out. Come Excuse here, Pumpkin. Let's go upstairs. Excuse me, little ears. Evening, guy. Come on, let's go. Look. Why did you drag me in here? When it comes to protecting my family, I do what I have to. Oh, that's funny. I thought I was part of your family. I think you've made it perfectly clear which family you want to be a part of. Don't go away. Why did you have to pick today, of all days, to play daddy? Oh, excuse me. I wasn't the one that was caught red-headed snooping, okay? 
Look, why don't we just tell everybody about our plan with Roger, huh? I had no choice but to come here. I've been trying to get a hold of you all day. Now, we can't talk here. Just meet me at the penthouse. Penthouse? Yes, I've got some good news. I thought you two hated each other. We do. Funny, that's not how it looked to me. Lil, you don't have to wait on me. Hey, it's my day off. You're taking care of me on your day off? Yes, I am. And if you get mad at me, I'll get mad at you. Now, what can I do for you? Some news on the Meg. Okay, I'll go down to OR. I'll be back as soon as I know anything, okay? Thank you, Lulu. Look at all these gifts you have, Mom. It's like you could open up your own little gift shop. Look at the Springfield Deli sent you flowers. Isn't for the place you get coffee in the morning, you guys? Matt and Vanessa, oh, these flowers are beautiful. Meg would like those. This journal staff, the press guild. Wow. Oh, I think this is from that little old lady, Gracie, who lives down the street. <laughs> Got a lot of fans, Mom. Any news? No, not yet. Oh, dear. Oh, Holly, you must be so worried, dear. Lillian went down to see him. If there's anything happening. Well, no, don't you, don't you worry now. Now, Meg is in God's hands. Hmm? Well, Dr. Howard has instructed the surgeon to begin his preliminary incision. Tell me you don't mean that. I'm afraid I do, Jilly. I'm sorry if I got your hopes up. If I ever do need a press secretary, it will definitely be you, but I just don't need one now. I see. I mean, I've never worked with anybody in this capacity before. I may not be able to handle the scheduling accommodations. Then there's the salary that we never... No, listen, I am perfectly willing to start on a trial basis. If I don't work out, if I don't prove my worth in a month, I'm gone. Not a penny spent. But I will work out if you just give me a chance. Look, please, let me show you what I've done here. Dr. King's speeches. Yes, it's one of my favorites. Look, if you don't mind, it's kind of a sentimental thing I, uh... My mother? I knew that there was another reason why my job was going to fall through. This is all about my mother, isn't it? Can a girl tell a guy off without an audience? You always tell people off by whispering in their ear? So I didn't want to broadcast it all over your sister's dive, so what? Is that what I walked in on? Yeah, it was. And I've just about heard enough. Oh, wait a minute, slime bag. Oh, slime bag? Ooh, that hurt. Oh, to think, I was just starting to like you again. So now Hart has the title of biggest slime bag of all? Last week you told me it was Roger. Okay, so I learned the sun was even worse. Or hey, maybe Matt. none of this is real. Matt! Hello, did I tell you? Hart's looking for a job, and maybe you could give him his old job back now, huh? Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Bridget. I can get my own job. I couldn't even if I wanted to. I had to lay off most of my men today. You're kidding. Why? What happened? What about the whole big Fifth Street thing? What are you gonna do? Some big corporation sold us out. What about all those people that lost their homes in that fire? Okay, I'm gonna be sick now. Bye. You know what? I have an idea. Why don't we give job, hard a job at company? Right? Work part-time? What do you think? Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Oh, thanks to both of you. I really appreciate it. But actually, I got a job interview right now with the guy downtown. And I'm late. I should be getting... Bye. 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 Well, you know how your mother feels about me. She's made it pretty clear to anyone who'd listen, wouldn't you say? Griffin, I need this job. You do? I grew up the daughter of a doctor. Middle class. Privilege, some people call it. But I am black. So a lot of the privileges that my white friends got, I had to fight a little bit harder for. I was married once to a good man who couldn't understand all of that fight, all of that ambition. I was almost married again to somebody who was even more ambitious than I am. I checked out that time. Julie, look, you don't have to tell me. Griffin, I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, I have been playing both sides all my life. I can be whatever somebody wants me to be, but I don't want to do that anymore. That's why I quit WSPR. I want to live my life for myself, nobody else. I want to do what I want to do. I have been darn successful without my heart in it. I just think of what I can do if my heart is in it. 
You know, you remind me a whole lot of the young lady in this picture. What was my mother like then? The best word to describe your mother would be indefatigable. She was a woman full of energy. Always there a half hour early and stayed an hour after everybody else was gone. Totally dedicated to what she was doing. She was a perfectionist. She still is. Excuse me. Yes, hey, Griffin Williams. I guess I did, uh, did ask Fletcher to call me. Cedars Hospital, is he all right? Well, thank you very much. Well, Jill, I have to go to the hospital and see an old friend. Is it Fletcher and Holly's baby? Yeah. Can I come along? Well, sure, sure, that, that'd be fine. Dr. Howard had his, uh, <laughs> his cardiac team, I mean, all profiled last month in the, uh, what was it? Inside the, Springfield. Inside Springfield yes. is the best there is. Yes. Nothing but the best for the Meg. <laughs> Lillian, thank you so much for giving up your day off just for us. Yeah, thanks, Lou. What, what about Philip and Beth? Have you heard from them lately? You know, I really haven't. I used to talk to them every week, and I haven't heard them from them lately. So that maybe I'd give them a call, see how they're doing out west. And... Is it raining? I mean, it feels like it's raining. It's raining somewhere. You know, all the nurses are mad about Meg. I mean, she's just their favorite on the floor. <laughs> you hear that, Red? Baby Red is getting the red carpet treatment. <laughs> I guess it pays to have connections. <laughs> Anybody home? Just us. How are you holding up? Well, considering I don't have to stand up, I'm okay. But other than that, uh, not so great. Oh, I know. It's hard. If it all turns out okay, then I'll be fine. Until then, I just don't have too much to hold on to except for him. Mm -hmm. Faith, sometimes that's all it takes. Well, I have to have faith that the cafeteria at least has a cup of coffee with my name on it. Otherwise, I'm going to queue over. I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. Hey, Fletch, you want some company? No, thanks. It's been so great, so strong, so everything. I don't know what I would do without him and all this. Well? Nothing new. They're still working on her. Innocent children 
and women to suffer like this. My wife Holly believes in you with all her heart, and this is the way she gets treated. I want to believe in you too, but this is not right. It isn't fair. It is not just. You call yourself a god. You know God. The same guy who took my first daughter, and now you want another? Why? If you're punishing me, if I deserve it for something I've done, fine, punish me, but not with their lives. What has my little Meg ever done to you? You, you're no god. You're a fake, you're a phony, you're a liar, a cheap, lousy liar! a four-letter word, Mom. So is weight. Oh. Honey. So, in all of this, I haven't found out how you're doing. Me? Oh, <laughs> what do you mean, me? You. You're the only one in here, finally. You're the one who just had a baby. Uh, how are you holding up is, is a phrase that I should be asking you. I just wonder, because you seem a little uneasy, like something's going on. Well, hey, my little sister's lying on an operating table with ten people surrounding her, trying to repair her tiny little heart. Doesn't that explain it? I just thought maybe it was something else. Like giving Dad the old Hevo? <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe that's it, then. Thanks for that. Anytime he bothers you. Oh, boy. How long does this operation take, anyway? Well, I asked a doctor, and he said as long as it takes to open a chest and make the repair and close it. That ranks right up there with it ain't over till it's over. <laughs> Meaning they really don't know, do they? Three to 15 hours, give or take. shouting. There's nobody here to listen, is there? Oh, I think he heard you. Griff, what are you doing here? How'd you find me? I heard you. This is not fair, Griff. It's not fair at all. This is all supposed to make sense, and it doesn't make any sense at all. What good is a god if he won't at least watch out for innocent children? Why have a god if all he's gonna do is let us down? You know, people who know the answers to questions like that know a lot more than I do. Fletch. Admit it, Griff. There are no answers. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. My first wife and my first baby, they were killed in Beirut. God wasn't there then. He's not here now. I mean, isn't he supposed to be here watching over us? Well, maybe you're getting God a little confused with Santa Claus. Bad news, Griff. There is no Santa Claus either. Praying is not like, uh, it's not like ordering at a drive through window, Fletch. Yeah? Well, then what good is it? Hi, come in. Um, just in case I need to get out quickly. No, relax. What if Roger shows up? He won't. I mean, how many different excuses are we going to come up to with and why we're always together all the time? Okay, my father may be evil, but he's not stupid. If you would shut up for a minute, I'll explain to you. Roger won't be walking through that door in two, maybe three days. Well, how do you know that? Simple physics. He can't be in two places at once, and right now, Roger is on his way to New York City to have his rotten heart checked out. But his heart's fine. I know that. You know that, but Roger doesn't know that we know that, so he either has to go through the motions or admit that he's a liar. <laughs> I'm such a concerned little wife. I sent him to see this specialist in New York. <laughs> you should have seen his face. I think I'll schedule his next doctor's appointment in Beijing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, boy. Daddy, you are something. I know. <laughs> so, no one's going to disturb us? No. We have 48 hours minimum. Well, that should uh, be enough time. <laughs> yeah. Matt? Matt is Matt. The hotel better be on fire. No flames, just a bad smell. <sighs> All right, so hard to come out. I know he's in here. I can handle this, Hart. Well, somebody better. <sighs> okay. First of all, I don't hate my mother. Make sure she knows that. That is not what this is all about. Then what the hell is this about, Dinah? I told you, it's none of your business. I'm making it my business. Hey, why don't you ease off, okay? Just because you're married to her mother doesn't give you any rights with her. Look, why don't you just relax, Okay, Matt, boy, Matt, okay? Matt, Matt, you have to trust me. I, I went back to Roger for a reason, a reason you don't know. So tell me. I can't. Not yet. I... Now, you said we've been through a lot together, and we have. So I'm asking you. No, I'm not asking you. I'm begging you to trust me. I know what I'm doing. You can understand how that may be a little hard for me to believe, Diana. I know. Okay, fine. But please, Matt, please, give me the benefit of the doubt. Okay? I mean, someday you're going to know everything, and you're going to understand. But for now, I really need to handle this my way. All I'm asking is that you trust me and don't tell anyone what I've told you. Do you think I like the fact that everyone thinks I'm the biggest fool in the world? I mean, maybe I was once, but I'm not anymore. I am not the fool who married Roger. And I'm certainly not the fool that you knew who deliberately got herself kidnapped. I'll buy that. You've changed. The trouble is, Roger hasn't. And whatever you're up to with him, it could be dangerous because he is dangerous. I, I know, but I can handle him. I can. He's capable of anything, Donna. He's done anything. I know. I've got it covered, Matt. I want to believe that. Then please do. Please. Okay. Now, make sure that my mother knows that I'm okay and that I don't hate her. But that's all you can tell her. If you say anything else, you are going to wreck everything for me. Don't make me regret this. What are you trying to pull? I don't want to talk about myself right now. My old buddy's going through a really hard time. I just came from uh, Holly's room myself. Well, how's she doing? About the same as Fletcher. It's hard. You were wonderful with Fletcher. Well, I just told Fletcher something that took me a long time to learn. I'm not God either. I used to think you were. I didn't mind. But it wasn't true. It wasn't right. And I hurt a whole lot of people with that old ego of mine. You're big enough to admit you made a mistake. If you don't admit it, you can't get past it. Now I know why people think you're so special. You speak from the heart. <laughs> Life's too short to speak any other way. You used to say that your life would be as short as a comet's, all flash and over too quickly. You still think you won't make your biblical four score and ten. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Oh, Julie. Griffin, I have those papers together. What's going on here? Mother, I know how you two feel about each other, but I am going to work for Griffin anyway, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so what took you so long? Did you grind the beans yourself? Um, something like that. Uh, look, look, I'm sorry it took me so long, but I did stop down in the lobby at that little espresso cart they have, and I... Took a chance on some Colombian raspberry somiti or something like that. I don't know. It's decaf. Don't worry. Mm. Thank you. 
What else have you been up to? You look smilier. 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 Is that a word? Smilier? Uh, smiley, smilier, smiley. Yeah, it is. You say it and somebody understands it. <laughs> well, you really do look smilier. You really do. <laughs> Must uh, be a heck of an espresso bar, really. Oh, that's the decaf. <laughs> Must be more in it than the Arabica beans, then. <laughs> so what is it? What's going on? Oh, nothing very much. I just happened to be out for a stroll, stretching my legs, and just chanced upon... The hospital chapel. Aha, uh -huh. and did you put in a good word for us? Not exactly. Well, not at first anyway. I, I uh, bumped into this very old friend of mine, and he straightened me out on a couple of things, like who I was, who I am, how to pray, little things. Little things? Yeah. I actually feel connected to something for the first time in a long, long time. I realize that I can only do all that I can do, and when that's not enough, faith is just going to have to pick up the slack for me. And maybe, just maybe, the universe is actually unfolding according to some plan, and I am trusting it's gonna turn out okay or not. That's all. <laughs> the little things, like you said. <laughs> okay, Ed. So how's our baby? We have some guarded good news for you. And the only reason I say guarded is I'm not completely happy with Meg's O2 saturation count, but Dr. Howard assures me, assures me that she is going to be fine. Oh, thank God. Want to tell him about the operation? Well, first of all, I'd like to say what a special little trooper your Meg is. Now, we corrected the atrial septal defect, closed without any complications, and under the circumstances, I think she came through very well. Do I hear a butt in your voice, doctor? No, no. The only thing you have to bear in mind is that Meg has gone through the trauma of birth and a major heart operation in her first 48 hours. That's it. The next couple of hours in post-op are going to be very crucial to Meg's recovery. She's resting very nicely. Yes, and we're keeping a very close eye on her, but all prayers will be appreciated. <sighs> she's going to make it. I know she's going to make it. Don't ask me how, but I know she's going to make it. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> oh, doctor, you're wonderful. You're just wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know you still disapprove of Griffin. That's fine. That's your business. It has nothing to do with me. It most certainly does. Mom, I want this job. And I'm going to do it well. I'm going to show you, Griffin, and everybody else that I can make a difference. Griffin, can we go someplace and discuss those papers? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll uh, meet you at the elevator in a couple of minutes. Bye, Mom. You promised. Well, I tried to unhire her, but she, uh, she's too much like you. She wouldn't listen. Look, Vivian, everything's gonna be all right for everybody. I'll, I'll get back to you with the details. Dr. Sedwick to obstetrics. Dr. Sedwick to obstetrics. Mrs. Grant, I have wonderful news. The rabbit expired. You're about, uh, two months along. Oh, no, it can't be. Comes as a surprise, does it? Please, no. You've got time to get used to it. I can't be. I just can't be. I 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 can't be. sometimes, so I thought that I could maybe try to take this slow and easy, and that might be better. Good idea. Good idea. I thought that maybe Peter and Hart and I could, you know, do, like, corny family stuff, like picnics on the beach and stuff like that, you know? Sounds great. Yeah, it does sound kind of fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, delivery for Reardon? Oh, me. Oh, that's me. No, I'm not Reardon. I went for a, uh, 
Uh, Bridget Reardon. That's me. And Nola. That's and me. Jay Chamberlain. I'll sign oh. for him. Or are you, are you sign for us? I'll sign. All right, hold this. Right there. Hold this. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. Do you have a dollar? Do you have a dollar? No, I don't have I have a dollar. Here. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Bye. See you. Here you go. Ooh, this looks official. Yeah. Legal like. Are we getting sued? <laughs> Could be. You, uh, want to open them together? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, look, I have the gloves on. Yeah, but I'm going to okay. win. I'm going to win. Oh, okay. Okay. What is it? Oh, no. no. Oh, dear. Look at that. What's going on? Oh, I know. It's a reading of Henry's will. I guess they want us to be there. Oh, this is really creepy. Oh, no. Hey, we might inherit something, huh? Oh, could be. So where did you go? I just had to take care of a few things. Some unfinished business. Ooh, secretive. <laughs> is it finished? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, what am I trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Now, you told Matt that this whole thing was a scam, that you weren't really back with Roger. No, I did not. I just, I just wanted him to know, it, so to tell my mother not to worry. You can't trust Matt, Veronica. Okay? I'm telling you, Roger's gonna find out that we're plotting against him, okay? Now, you swore that no one would know about this but us, okay? Now there's three people involved. What, I hear four by in the morning, like five, six? Roger's gonna find out. No, and he's I'm... not. Matt just isn't anybody, you know? I mean, he, he won't let me down. Since when? Since we understand each other, you know, we've, we've, we've worked things out. Really? And you can't figure out why? What's that supposed to mean? What it's supposed to mean is he's got the hots for you, Dinah. <laughs> he's in love with my mother. That's what he says, but I'm telling you, he is. You're crazy. You know, this plan is supposed to make Roger lose his mind, not you. Now, the only reason you can't see it is... Or maybe you can see it. Maybe you really do have a thing for your mother's husband. Like you'd care.